I'm Pam Seidel at 361 University. It was day one here of the first degree murder trial for Kalen Schlater. He is accused of killing 22 year old Tess Ritchie, a woman he had just met in November of 2017. Crown attorney Beverly Richards is soft spoken, but the words in her opening statement were clear and unequivocal. Richards told the jury Kalen Schlater is guilty and there's a mountain of evidence to prove it. Flowers were laid where Tess Ritchie's body was found the day before her 23rd birthday on November 29, 2017. She was found crumpled in a heap at the bottom of a stairway in a construction site in the heart of the gay village by her mother four days after she was reported missing. Kaylin Schlater was arrested two months later. Crown Beverly Richards told the jury they will hear testimony from witnesses, forensic experts, and view exhibits such as photographs and extensive video surveillance footage, which includes Schlater following Tess and her friend after they left a Church Street bar and later of him allegedly trailing behind Tess alone. Surveillance video will also show a man in light-colored pants leading a small woman into a construction site and then 45 minutes later the man left alone. The Crown stated the man was Kalen Schlater and Tess Ritchie was never seen alive again. The Crown alleges the man who did this to her was Kalen Schlater, the man who left his semen down the front of Tess Ritchie's pant leg and his saliva on the inside of Tess's bra was Kalen Schlater. The man who murdered Tess by strangling her was Kalen Schlater. Tess Ritchie was the youngest of five sisters and very close to them and her mother. Numerous family members were in court today, but her mother and one of her sisters have been excluded as they are witnesses. Toronto police came under fire for their handling of this case and failure to find Tess Ritchie days after she was reported missing. Two officers have been charged with misconduct in connection to Ritchie's disappearance. The Crown told the jury that they will hear from two undercover officers who shared a cell with Schlater after his arrest. According to prosecutors, they will tell the court that Schlater talked nonstop for three hours, bragging about his sexual exploits and how he liked threesomes and foursomes with random girls. Bev Richards said they will also say that Schlater told them that he wanted to have sex with Tess Ritchie and she wouldn't. Richards alleges Kaylin Schlater was upset because Tess Ritchie said no. Schlater was originally charged with second-degree murder, but it was later upgraded to first-degree after new information came to light. The trial is expected to last six weeks.